Oh boy, here we go. That's me. <laughs> <laughs> When's the last time you had seen that footage? I don't know, probably 20 years ago, I expect. My family did a lot of home movie nights when we would dig them all out or when people, relatives came, you know. My dad was always taking, taking movies. Film has lasted more than 100 years. This is a physical thing. After we can't use iPhones anymore or computers anymore, this is a physical thing that will exist that his son will be able, if they keep it cool and dry, will be able to show it to his kids. It's sort of like peeking into someone's private life uh, because this is something that you don't see at the movie theater on TV. This is real, actual life that happened. It's just, I don't know, something about reminiscence makes people happy. There's a bigger importance. It's a cultural importance. It's capturing parts of our lives that we've forgotten about. And home videos can capture that, and they can capture the little parts of things that uh, like a TV news wouldn't capture and like a feature film or television wouldn't capture. So what I brought in today was some old 8mm reels, so I'm going back to about 1945. You remember this happening? No. <laughs> I remember living out there. I got online, looked at a search, how can I have these digitized, came across movie day, and here I am. This was all packed up in a, a storage tub that's moved with me many times. And my children have been after me to, who are the people in these pictures? So that's what I've been working on for the last two years of photograph albums. Well, this is at Angie's church and my niece Angie got married in August of 1999. Together they had uh, a daughter later on, but that day was very important to me because it was one of the last full family gatherings before several elderly members of the family passed away. This is in Riverside, California, 1990. Someone asked me, oh, did they stay together? And I said, well, no, in fact, that same day. I saw her with the bro literally chasing him. <laughs> A lot of fun and it's fun to see this and I can't wait to get it onto a DVD to show to my grandchildren. So it's important to hold on to the original stuff as long as you can uh, and then if you can't play it back we figure out ways to kind of keep them safe and we figure out ways that you can continue to watch them and pass them on to future generations. So that's what Home Movie Day is all about.